Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video about things I was influenced to buy, whether it is beauty, books, lifestyle, the things that I talk about in my favorites videos, but we're going to go over my regrets <laughs> and things that I really love that I was influenced to pick up and would I recommend it to you? Do I regret it? I've seen this sort of idea trending for a while now and I really wanted to do it myself. This video is gonna be super random, but I think you guys are gonna get to know me a little bit more about all the random things that I've been influenced to purchase. So thank you so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. And if you've not already, I'd absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos. And let's jump into products I was influenced to buy. Fragrance. <laughs> designer fragrance. You already know if you're a follower of my channel that I love fragrance and I've been influenced to buy some fragrances that cost a lot of money. And because of companies like Dossier, I don't have to regret purchasing those very high price tag fragrances because they do amazing impressions of designer fragrances. So this portion of the video is sponsored by Dossier. So thank you so much for sponsoring this portion. And I cannot wait to talk about their fragrances because if you're a fragrance lover like me and you want to save some money, this is the company for you. I actually recently had a subscriber reach out asking me for my review of Dossier. And funny enough, I was working on that already for you. Dossier is a fragrance website. I'm sure you've probably seen them trending on socials. I know I've seen a ton of videos of people talking about these fragrances being a dupe impression of designer fragrances. So a couple of the ones that I picked out and wanted to share with you are the first being Floral Marshmallow. And this is an impression of Killian Love Don't Be Shy, which I've purchased <laughs> the actual Killian. You cannot tell a difference. And I regret purchasing the designer fragrances when Dossier honestly does it just as good if not better because they're cheaper. <laughs> Floral Marshmallow is my perfect sweet scent when I want to smell super sweet. Wear is fantastic. The projection's just as good as Killian. I'm so blown away. The packaging is stunning. Everything about it. You get that magnetic closure. I love how the liquid is also that beautiful amber color. And then I also decided to pick out one for my husband because thinking of him and I love to buy him colognes as well. They do have a section for women, men, and unisex fragrances if you want to kind of shop by those kind of categories. I picked this one out because I already knew I love the scent and it smells exactly like its impression of as well, which is citrus ginger. And this is an impression of Chanel Bleu, which is incredible for Charles. I cannot tell you how much I love this on him. And of course he was super happy that I picked this out for him. <laughs> now we don't have to regret spending money on designer fragrances when we can get the same scent for a fraction of the cost. So if you have not checked out Dossier, I highly encourage you to. As a fragrance lover, from me to you, if you've not tried their impressions of these niche designer fragrances, you are missing out. They do it incredibly. Their packaging is sleek, beautiful. As I said, I love the magnetic closure on the caps of these. They're just so beautiful, so aesthetic. They are incredible. So highly recommend. They give my stamp of approval. I know people were reaching out for my review on Dossier and I have been trying them and highly, highly recommend. So definitely go check them out so you don't regret your fragrance purchases as well because you can get them for a fraction of the cost. And thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. Love your company so much and cannot wait to see what fragrances you do next. Speaking of regrets, we're just gonna take it there already. So I loved my Stanley when I first got it. It definitely gets me to drink more water. It still does and I still use it and I love it for that aspect, but I need to tell you about what this does that can be a regret for a lot of people. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now that when you tip this, not only does it come out the straw, obviously it's going to, that's a hole, but it comes out of here. I'm just spilling it all over myself to show you. I should have done that last. <laughs> it leaks. Why does it leak? Why? That should be a key component of a drink cup for it not to leak. I get the straw, like you can't obviously avoid that, but the other places on the cup, 
Why does it do that? I know people have issue with this as well, so it's not just me. So I do regret it in that sense. And I'm personally looking for a new alternative to that, or maybe just a different design because I use it every single day. I still love it for drinking water, but I just cannot stand it leaking. And the only thing I put in it is water. I could never put anything else <laughs> because I knock it over at least once a day. For me, one of the things I'm very influenced to purchase is clothing, shoes, because I feel like that's a place where I personally struggle with. I know a few of you say you like my style, but I feel like I struggle <laughs> with style. And some people are gonna love or hate these. I didn't purchase these for a while because I thought they were ugly, but I picked them up <laughs> and they are from New Balance. They are the 530s and this one is the white with navy. And I absolutely love these sneakers, they're amazing for walking, which I use these indoor, that's why they're clean, and I use them on my walking pad, which is also another thing that I wanted to mention that I'm so happy about because when I edit, I go on there and walk. Sometimes I post on my Instagram I'm doing this, but it's definitely helped me get my steps in. These are super comfy to do so, so I was influenced for not only these shoes, but the walking pad, and I'm so happy with both. So if you were curious about either or, they give my stamp of approval and these are one of the most comfortable shoes that I've ever worn, especially for walking distance. These are what I'm reaching for, for my walking pad. If you ever wanted to know my favorites of favorites, this video covers all my absolute favorites <laughs> that I use that maybe don't fit in the makeup category. I have some makeup here that I was going to mention in this video, but I'm actually gonna save that for an entire separate video on strictly makeup because I've been influenced so much for makeup and do I have regrets? Absolutely. So I do want to do a whole video just separate on makeup. I just decided that now just to cut back on this, but one more pair of shoes. These are the Nike Legacy Lift and these are just my casual shoe. They have that little bit of platform and I just love the color combination because it has that tan white and black which are my most worn colors. So they just match everything I have. Super cute, a little bit different than my Nike Air Max that I always wear. And just a really nice plain, but a little bit different white sneaker. So I was influenced to buy these because of Babs Beauty. She showed me she purchased them. And then I eventually purchased them because she is my influence as well. <laughs> my next love is an accessory that is super affordable on Amazon and they are sunglasses. It was either one or two years ago, I can't remember, but I started off with these brown and gold ones and this year I ended up picking up the black. These are my most used sunglasses. I think they're the most flattering sunglasses I've ever found for my face shape. I always get compliments on these when I wear them. I love these and I haven't had to replace this and I've had it for how long? You can tell the colors, it just matches everything I own. <laughs> so those are the colors I went with and highly recommend if you're looking for an amazing pair of sunglasses. You do not need designer for them. I've gone down that route. That's a regret. I have a pair of Chanel's I should throw in here <laughs> that I regret purchasing because you do not need to spend that kind of money on sunglasses when you could easily lose them, sit on them, break them, whatever. These hold up great and they're very, very affordable. Which brings me to designer bags. It's something I've honestly stopped purchasing a long time ago because I regret purchasing them. So for me, you probably won't see me ever with a designer bag. I do have a couple I still have and use. I now regret this Louis Vuitton one, which I've barely worn. If you remember this from back in the day, on my YouTube channel. I still haven't really used it. It's in perfect condition, so maybe I should sell this. If anyone wants it, let me know. That was a regret, but I do have one that I actually used that I wasn't influenced. That one I was influenced from someone to purchase and it's just completely not my style. It's not useful for me at all. It's just a expensive regret unfortunately, but hopefully I can sell that one day if anyone wants to purchase it. <laughs> Lululemon has a chokehold on me right now and I am heavily influenced, but I'm gonna only show you the top of the top. So for me, I have carried a belt bag since these kind of were released and were really hard to get a hold of. This was the first one I ever got and still by far my favorite. I used it every single day until I got these new ones. <laughs> to just switch it up because it has become such a useful bag for me. I wear it over a shoulder and just cross body. Hands-free, useful if you have kids or you're just on the go, 
best bag out there, honestly, for me. I just love a useful bag like this. Nothing fancy. People might not like the design of these, but I love them. I started using a white one, which I'm like, why did I buy white? So maybe this color is a regret, but this is from Lululemon as well. I just gotta wash it. This is what I've been using. I'm embarrassed to even show that. <laughs> then I have this fuzzy one that I got on sale that is black and gold, which is my favorite color combination, which leads me to this crop defined jacket from Lululemon, which I was gonna wear for this video, but I've worn it in like every <laughs> video because I love it so much and I was talking about it. This is what it looks like. I wear this, I wear this too much, honestly. It has become my uniform for the day, but it has the gold zipper detailing for it and it's black and it is so nice. It's fitted, it sucks you in, it's super soft, it's super flattering. It's literally everything that I wanna wear on my body on a daily basis. I wanna be comfortable, I wanna look good, feel good. Do you know? This is it. This is that jacket's gonna do it all for you. I do wear a bunch of affordable options for the Define jacket as well, which I can definitely link if you guys are curious of that. I've just never found one like this. I was influenced from TikTok to pick this up. As soon as I saw the black and gold option, I literally checked the website every Tuesday for a drop until I saw this. <laughs> this is a love and a need for me and something that I do not regret whatsoever. Even though I found dupes for Define Jackets, can't get over this original one from Lulu. It is so, so good. Korean skincare has truly changed my life. I'm sure many of you know if you follow my channel. I converted because I was influenced from you guys, my best friend, and TikTok. So this was just coming all at me at once that I needed to try Korean skincare and I first fell in love with sunscreen that is Korean made. And I get all my products on Stylevana, which I now have a coupon code with them as well. So I will put that down below for you guys. But these are my favorite sunscreens currently. I have the Beauty of Joseon one, which you can see I'm almost done with. And then the Skin 1004 one, which I will have all linked. I really love the brand CosRx as well. I've been trying their products, no issue. I didn't break out from this. I know people wanted an update have not broken out from either of them. So really good on the skin. This is my Korean made affordable option of the La Roche Posay Barrier Cream. That's really, really popular. It's a uh, Sika Plast, I think. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's the Sika Balm one. This is from Etude House. It's the two times barrier intensive cream. This is just like that for skin barrier, but it has a better texture to it. So I find this just goes on my skin easier than that one, which was kind of tugging at my skin. I still love that product. This is just a more affordable option and better formula for my skin. <laughs> Korean skincare, check it out. It has been truly a game changer for me, especially for sunscreen because it does not break me out. Almost every single sunscreen I've tried, except for my Korean made ones, break out my skin. I don't know what it is about sunscreen in my skin, but these ones work for me and I will forever repurchase them because I use it every single day. Product that took me forever to purchase is the Dyson Airwrap. And I wanted this for so long before I took the plunge and purchased. There is absolutely no regret with this product. I use it every single time I either blow dry my hair or I use the attachment, the round brush attachment to really get at my roots and dry those. Cause I always especially have a problem with the back of my head and it feeling still like greasy and wet. <laughs> like I don't ever get it properly with a blow dryer, but the round brush attachment actually gets my roots nice and dry. So I love the Dyson Airwrap. Minus today doing a wave to my hair, I still use this to dry my hair. So there's always a point in my routine that I'm using one of the attachments for my hair. It is a must have for me. Can't see my life without this, it's so useful. And I like that I don't have to have a separate dryer. I can just use this. It dries my hair sufficiently. I love it so much. Some tech stuff I really recommend are these phone lights. If you do any sort of content or if you just take pictures in general, do you take pictures? <laughs> you need a light. And these are so amazing. They're so bright. I actually end up getting a second one because when I'm creating content and one dies, I want one charged and ready to go. So when I have two of something, you know it's a love. So this is a tech item I use every time I take my photos or I do my reels. I was worried that this was gonna be a regret, but this is actually a regret for me in the sense that I wish I bought it sooner because I was putting it off because I'm like, oh, I don't need that. I already have headphones. I don't need these Apple ones. 
However, because I have Apple Watch, phone, computer, everything Apple, these sync to all my devices, whether I'm going back and forth between one, instantaneously almost. It is so incredible and efficient for working, for editing, for my job. The sound quality is amazing. Also, this has a feature which I didn't have on my old headphones, which I would buy just for this feature. It has noise cancellation, which often I get overstimulated by noise. Right now, my neighbor is doing some leaf blowing, I think, <laughs> something outside while I'm trying to film, and I'm just like, I need my headphones on. I hope you guys can't hear that in the audio, but if you can, you probably hear it on your headphones <laughs> if you're wearing them right now, because I pick up all background noises. When I'm watching people's videos with this, you can really pick up all the different sounds in a video when you have headphones on. So the noise cancellation feature is really nice for me. If I just wanna tune out the world and really focus in on what I'm working on, I will wear these when I'm cleaning, when I'm vacuuming, turn on that noise cancellation and it just tunes out that vacuum sound so that it's just a better musical experience for one because you can't hear that as much. I love the sound of quiet. It's just amazing. I've never experienced noise cancellation prior to these, so I don't know how other headphones compare, but truly life-changing for me are these Apple AirPod Max. I love them. Also to note, super comfortable. I could wear these all day if I wanted because they go around the entire ear. So, so comfortable, which is a huge, huge thing for me. So yes, a regret for me for not getting sooner because they are incredible. Two more things and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. This is probably the most random we're gonna get in this video and I'm sure a lot of people don't know this about me, but I love to fish. And this is my most recent reel and rod combo that I got. I wanted to get a bait caster, which is this sort of reel here. I'm still trying to get used to this. I only had it for one season. I put some braid line on that can tangle a bit easier, but I was trying to look at the best kind of combo I could use for my new bait caster. And my husband got this for my birthday in March last year. So March 31st, he bought this for me because I was telling him how much I wanted a bait caster because I've seen all the bass fishermen that I watch using one. I was feeling a little bit of FOMO and I wanted my own. So this is my bait caster rod and reel combo. It is quantum accurate. I'm sure there's going to be maybe 0.5% of you out there who fish with me. <laughs> Just due to the nature of my channel, very rarely do I find someone who loves makeup as much as me who also fishes. So if you do, leave a comment down below and let me know I'm not alone. But this is, I wouldn't say it's a full regret, but I do still prefer my other rod and reel combo that I have. This one has its benefits because it's super, super comfortable. And I love how far I can cast with this. However, it's just a little bit finicky compared to a traditional reel. Once I got the hang of this at the very end of last fishing season, I started to really like it. So we'll see how my second year with this goes. It was kind of a regret for me, which was unfortunate because I was really excited for this, but I think I just need a little bit more practice. It's two separate parts because this is super long. If I put it together for you guys, I'm gonna damage something in my room. I'm very much looking forward to this fishing season. So that's a random fact about me that I'm sure a lot of you didn't know. You would only know if you've seen a vlog that I did and also on Instagram, I do post about it. Little random fact about me, it's a hobby that I picked up in 2020, but I did go fishing when I was a kid, but I really got into it in 2020. And then my last thing are books. And I'm sure you can guess what I was influenced to read. Any guesses? Take a moment and guess. <laughs> this is what started it all for me and I cannot recall what my influence was. I think it was also a combination of things to start to read Sarah J Mass books. And I just finished Crescent City. My mom's borrowing it so I just have this sleeve. But this was my favorite one of the three books. And now I'm on Throne of Glass and I have to say that Sarah J Mass has changed my brain chemistry. <laughs> Her books are so incredible and I was never into fantasy prior to this, okay? She got me down a rabbit hole of fantasy that I cannot get out of. I am obsessed. I probably said in a video back when I started Akatar what my influence was, but I genuinely cannot remember right now. And whoever it was, thank you so much. <laughs> for letting me join the Sarah J Mass universe. 
I am in love with it and I probably want to start rereading them after I read Throne of Glass. That's how much they've stayed in my head and I'm just obsessed with all the series. They are so, so good. So if you've seen this on your For You page on TikTok or anywhere and you're like, I would never read fantasy, start with A Corn of Thorn and Roses, thank me later you will love it. It kind of gives Beauty and the Beast vibes very heavily in that book. However, it really takes off. I think about it daily. I feel like <laughs> that whole series, it's in my mind daily. That's how much it changed my brain chemistry. I did have to cut back on this video. I have more product here that I wanted to share with you, but let me know if you liked this video idea on things I was influenced to buy, whether I regret it, whether I love it, and just my overall thoughts on all these products that are my absolute favorite, a lot of these, which I've always wanted to share in a video with you guys. So thank you so much for clicking on this video, for supporting my channel. Don't forget to shop Dossier if you want to shop designer smelling, niche smelling fragrances for a fraction of the cost. Everything will be linked in the description box of everything I talked about in this video. So I hope this helps you out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in hopefully a part two. If you guys like this in the future, let me know. I'll see you in my next video.